Hello guys, welcome to Everything Hard Lately and welcome to Day 55 of 100 Days 100 Concert. So, I've got uh, a few requests about, you know, diffusion loss in the last video. So, in the previous video, what we have considered is about the basics and what are the factors by which uh, the diffusion will be affected. Right, so today, in this video, I want to explain about diffusion loss. So, if you are watching Everything Metrology for the first time, please do subscribe and also share with all the great metrology aspirants. And also, if you want to go through one of the most important free material, free video courses, you can go check out the playlist section of our channel where you find for various you know, important um, subjects as well as 100 days, 100 concepts is always running. So yeah, so that's it. Let's get started with this video. So the first one is steady state diffusion and the second is unsteady state. So I hope you already know these terms, steady state and unsteady state, okay, you come across these terms in heat transfer, right. So steady state means that the rate, okay, the rate at which the diffusion is taking place here actually we take dc by dt, okay, which is the change in concentration with respect to time is here. Okay. Whereas, on the other hand, on the second, you know, unsteady state diffusion, you find that both the concentration gradient and the diffusion flux okay, will vary with time. Okay. So, this is a time dependent process where a steady state is a time independent. Right? So, this is a major difference. Okay? And here, my dc by dx, which is the concentration gradient, and d is constant. Okay? Now, we have some important uh, laws governing these different type of diffusion, which we call fixed laws. Right? So, what is, you know, fixed law, okay? So, when we are talking about steady state diffusion, we have fixed first law to be followed, okay? So, which will be explaining that the diffusion flux J is proportional to the concentration gradient dc by dx, okay? And to remove the concentration, you uh, know, the proportionality, J equal to minus D into this is my fixed first law. Okay, so wherever you actually want to, you know, uh, study about a steady state diffusion, you can use this fixed first law. Okay. Whereas when you actually deal, okay, when you actually, you know, uh, deal with the unsteady, that means here the time term is important. So previously, we were actually not bothered about time because the concentration of any given species at a given point in space will not change with time. Okay, that's what these two equations are. Okay, it will change, it may change with you know the space, but the rate is constant. Whereas the change of concentration with respect to change is zero. That means there is it is not changing. Okay. And so now for unsteady state, you have some term called dc by dt because it's not zero anymore, right? So for steady state, it's zero. So we can easily tell that. But for non-steady state, we have a fixed second law governing it. Okay, which is explaining tau c by dou t is equal to d into s k c by dou x square. Okay, so this is a second degree. Uh, no, uh, equation, right? Differential equation. So, this is fixed second law which can be used for fixed second law. But one more important thing which you have to keep in mind here is that the solution, okay, the difference solution. So, usually we know that we have you know, various applications, okay, we have various applications that are actually, uh, you know, uh, there in different 
across different industries so based on that we have different solutions for this equation in different applications so i actually don't want to derive each of them but i just want to explain you about some of the important types that you can see the diffusion couple parallelization and deparallelization so here what is diffusion couple so when you have you know, two guys a and b and you want to join them so let's say i have one bit and i allow diffusion to take place between them okay so this means nothing but a diffusion couple and at any x okay, let's say this is let's equal to zero at the interface and your curve will be something like this okay so this is your c1 and this is your c2 c1 is concentration of a and c2 is the concentration of b okay so of course yeah uh, here this equation is written such that my c1 is greater than c2 so let me remove this c2 and this is c1 okay so otherwise this term over here will affect your answer right so at any x the composition of any component cx will be equal to c1 plus c2 by 2 the c1 and c2 are the concentrations of that particular element in a and b minus c1 minus c2 by 2 into error function of x by 2 root b b so this error function is important because for fixed second law the solution is in the form of an error function okay so usually what is an error function so we say when a function has a fixed value at one end and a zero slope on the other domain we say that it has a solution as an error function so error function actually means for a eta to be equal to 2 by root pi into 0 to eta e power of minus eta square b eta so here in our case eta is what x by 2 root b eta okay so don't bother about this but your graph of error function will look this so you can see 0 on one domain and 0 slope on the other end okay so this is my one the error function always lies between 0 and 1 and if you can easily see error function of 0 0 error function of infinity is 1 and error function of let's say minus x equal to minus error function of x so these are some important you know things that you have to know for error function and for a diffusion couple as you see the solution will be like this cx equal to c1 plus c2 by 2 minus of c1 minus c2 by 2 into error function of x by 2 root dt and remember t is time x is the distance away from the interface capital d is nothing but the diffusivities and obviously uh, here c1 is greater than c2 right so this is for a diffusion couple so the next important application that i want to discuss is carburization so carburization is an important technique where we use to inhibit more amount of carbon onto a surface of a steel component right so here even this is an unstable process and here you can see cx equal to cs minus cs minus c0 into rf of x by 2 root dt so here cs is nothing but the surface composition surface concentration or c0 is the initial concentration of the steel okay so cs is nothing but the uh, amount of concentration that is actually present in the carburizing atmosphere and this is directly in contact with the surface that's why even surface has the same concentration yes you can easily derive this so basically your uh, function the solution will be in the form of a minus b into error function of x by k to b okay so by carefully uh, looking at the boundary conditions and the initial given condition you can easily you know uh, get to these equations now similarly what is decarbonization just opposite to carbonization carbonization is addition of carbon to the surface whereas decarbonization is removal of carbon from the surface so usually uh, 
the decarbonizing atmosphere is uh, maintained at zero carbon so that fast diffusion will be taking place okay so is it a good uh, concentration gradient so that's why you can see the kinetics are the same okay you can see with the same equation if you just put cs equal to zero you get this okay so decarbonization and carbonization has almost similar phenomena but only the direction of flux is changing okay flux is nothing but the movement of atoms per unit area okay of course per unit time right so this is about uh, the different solution for fixed second law and in so about fixed first law also so in this video we talk about what is steady state what is unsteady state so steady state we call when any property at a given point in space is a constant value with time that means it is not changing with time okay whereas unsteady means it is dependent on time so if time changes the property at that particular point in space also changes so that is about difference between steady state and unsteady state and the fixed laws okay which govern them okay which govern the steady state diffusion and the unsteady state diffusion so yeah that's it for this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with many uh, of the great mentors and aspirants and if you are interested to take our mentoring online mentoring to do visit everythingmentorsy.com to you know enroll under one of the best video course for great mentorsy and also do check out our test series for the 2021 as well as 2022 so yeah that's it guys thank you thanks a lot meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept